We're just gonna go for the melee. Nice. Let's see where he goes. He's running that way. There it is. Great. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a hit! Holy crap! Oh, wow, wow, wow. What? What? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you disappoint me. Is that the best you've got? What is going on, Jill? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Time to die, Chris. <laughs> Damn! What's up, YouTube? Coco Jobro here, back with another video. And in today's video, we are running the Infinite Infection build. And let me tell you right now, I'm gonna try to Mori Chris. I don't know if you guys know when you uh, Mori Chris, there is a special saying that you only get with Mori Chris. Um, others, he's like, time to die or whatever. But when you Mori Chris, it's personal. I'll just say that. Let's see. Are they over here? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yep, there she is. There's the hit. I think she's by herself. Yep. Let's see where she's going. I might want to infect her. Let's see. There it is. Easy grab. Easy grab. We're going to kick her Gen 2 and put some overcharge on that. Also, too, the new buffed overcharge is so good. It is so good. So what it does is, obviously, you kick the gen and makes the skill checks really bad. But also, what it does is, over time, the next 30 seconds, that gen's going to start regressing from 75% normal speed up to 200%. So it's like having Ruin infused with it. And then also, too, with that... Um, they take away, I believe it's 5% if they miss. We have two gens. I'm going to work on this one. It's more central. Yep, 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 yep. There goes a Chris. We're just going to go for the melee. Nice. Let's see where he goes. <laughs> Keeps running that way. There it is. Great. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a hit. Holy crap. So we're running the infinite infection build. And what we're doing. I'll see you dead. Whew. That smack talk. What we're doing is we're going to be infecting people 30% more when we grab them. And a passive 30% too as well when they're just normally infected. So let's see if we can keep it up. I don't know which direction she went. I'm assuming she went back for Chris. There's someone right here. Where's the scratch marks? Yep. Let's see if we can get it. And there's the smack. I don't know what Chris is doing. There she is. Yeah, he messed up the skill check because of uh, what you call it. Um, I don't know why I'm blanking on the perk. Uh, overcharge, overcharge. So we're gonna try to Mori Chris, and maybe even see if Jill gets a personal Mori too as well. And try to get the. I have no idea what she's doing. We even have Ada in here? Let's see if Ada gets a personal Mori as well. There goes the uh, Awaken Awareness right there. So we saw the... Uh, where'd he go? We saw the uh, aura while we were carrying someone. Let's get Chris on the hook so we know he's Moriable. Ada's on the pallet and... Fang, Fang joining the uh, Resident Evil cast. I think she's just like, what the heck am I doing? This is not, it's not what I paid for. Okay, she's going for the unhook. Nice. Here we go. They're gonna run away. Let's see if we can get an angle right here. There she goes. I'm not. I'm not gonna go after Jill. I don't want a tunnel. It's kind of boring, or whatever. But maybe we go for Chris and get the Mori, shall we? <laughs> Let's see. I think we're gonna get the Mori right here. 
I feel bad, man. I feel bad. It's time to die, Chris. <laughs> Here it is. Time to die, Chris. <laughs> Damn! Time to die, Chris. You got to love it. Oh my gosh. Where's Jill? Give me Jill. Where is she? I want her. Give me Jill. Give me Jill. <laughs> I love it how personal it is. There goes Jill. And I think we're gonna get her infect. Whoa. There she is. Do you actually think you can do it? We're gonna get her infected. I was gonna see if she would vault back. I think her connection is really weird. I don't know what's going on with her, man. She is teleporting like crazy. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What? What? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you disappoint me. Is that the best you've got? What is going on, Jill? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get a personal Mori with Jill. I've never Mori to Jill, nor um, I think Ada gets just a normal Mori. All right, I feel bad to go after the Jill. If we find someone else, we will, but I really want to get the Mori on Jill and see if it's personal, just the same as Chris. They're over there. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get this window. There we go. There she is, baby Fang. And there's another person here. Who is that? Hmm. I don't know who that is. Let's see. Let's. See. Oh, Ada! Oh, pimp slapped. <laughs> now here's the thing. I'm not gonna Mori the. Oh well. Never mind. Never mind. There it is. I was like, I was not gonna Mori the. Uh, the Ada, because then the Jill's just gonna hide. <laughs> Ooh, I want you. Let's see, is Ada moriable? She is. Where's Jill? Where's Jill? There it is. There it is. Is she moriable? She is too. Get me in the open. I want to hear it. Okay, I think this is good enough right here. I think this is good enough. Let's see. No! Let's finish this. No, it's only personal with Chris. <laughs> Did you see her mouth or her eyes? Dear God. Oh my gosh. Look at the eyeballs! Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, what the heck was that? The freaking double affection build, man. The infinite affection build increases the affection rate. Oh my gosh. Dude, gotta do it. Gotta do it for the, <laughs> gotta do it for the Mori, man. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, man, but you gotta get that content somehow. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He knows. <laughs> he knows what's up. All right, so we got the green herb right here. Increases the infection rate when you grab someone with your uh, virulent grab. You good? I appreciate that. Who's that Char? Who's Char? That was the Chris. The Chris was down. All right. That's cool. And this one increases the passive rate. We're also running overcharge, like we explained. Dissolution, we didn't get value, but mainly when you injure someone, so you can grab them with your um, your virulent bound. Um, so they become automatically injured, and then if they vault over something, then they 
uh, break the pallet for you. This one, if they vault in front of you, then your vaulting speed is 40% faster on your next vault. And then the Awaken Awareness, you see people while you're carrying the survivors to the hook. So this is a great build if you want to try to just bring a lot of oppression and get a lot of value from the uh, infection rate, which hinders people when they're fully infected. So they slowly run, you can catch up to them, or you can Instagram them and um, pull them off of gens and get them onto a hook. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future content. Hit the like button for the cringe <laughs> from this person, for the salt. We love it here, but thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.